Yo, what up guys? It's me, Matty T, representing that Crown City, New York 39. Pasadena, you already know, so check this out guys, November 21st, we got some kicks coming out, boom, Poison Green Pack, as you can see, it comes in the Air Max 1, and drum roll please, shout out to Team Roshi, where's my shirt at, eh, just kidding, just kidding, uh, but yeah, seriously though, I need some Flyknit Roshis in my life, size 8, if anybody has them, because I know they run true to size, so, without further ado, let's talk about the shoe. As you can see in my hand is a beautiful Air Max one in the poison green floral pack. Starting off with the outsole, but I'll show you again at the end because it's, you know, the bottom of the shoe. All black with the beautiful poison green in the toe bumper. All white in the midsole, poison green again in the Air Max heel bag. Very beautiful. And beautiful black, uh, blue leather, excuse me, uh, navy leather actually throughout the mudguard. Patent white leather in the swoosh. And the upper, which is in a floral print pattern in blue and poison green, is made out of canvas. Really fresh. Shout out to the toe box. It's gonna have the same material of the whole shoe on the tongue. Well, actually, yeah. Kind of like a, like a mesh almost, actually, or canvas. Very interesting to the touch. Blue laces. Nike swoosh Air Max right there for you at the top of the time. Honestly, if you're a Seattle Seahawks fan, this is going to be your shoe straight up. Medial shot. Back heel with Nike swoosh Air stitched in white. Got that beautiful navy color lining and another poison green hit for you right there in the footbed with the Nike swoosh Air logo. Forgot to mention the popping eyelets right there at the top. Really sick. Boom. Shout out to the outsole. Waffle pattern throughout in black. And again, boom. Hit that poison green for you in the toe bumper. Now, onto the Roshi. Again, Nike Roshi. Very awesome shoe, easy to wear. Very comfortable to wear all day. I used to live by them. I think I had 30, 40 pairs and uh, gave slash sold most of them. I think only have like the Speed Yellows, the Red Ones, and the uh, Siren Reds, which were my first ones, the black on Siren Reds, killing the game. Um, all white outsole, shout out to Dylan Rash. Again, with that beautiful print right there. I feel like the, the print was executed way better on the Roshi, just because it's a simple silhouette. Then, boom, regular white swoosh for you. Again, shout out to that toe box. Black rope laces, boom, black. Tongue tab with a white Nike swoosh right there. Medial shot. And the collar lining is black. And the footbed, which is supposed to be like a solar soft footbed, is made out of a different material, What, what uh, which is what they do on the premium, excuse me, the premium uh, renditions of Roshi's in that poison green. Really sick. Oh, 80 bucks. Yep. Boom. Now again, if you didn't know, the story of the Roshi is that the outsole resembles rocks of a Zen garden and also the footbed resembles the lines drawn in a Zen garden by using one of those um, like push brooms. Um, if, please, you know, correct me if there's a technical name for that. I'm, I'm sorry that I don't know that much. But then I, mean, I, know, I noticed the first colorway, the Roshi, um, the Roshi run was uh, the iguana green colorway, which resembled the moss in, or, you know, like the, um, in the Zen Garden, and Roshi meaning, you know, the title given to a Zen Master. Shout out to Master Roshi, Dragon Ball Z. If you know that, please like this video. And, um, but yeah, like I said, November 21st, that's when these bad boys come out. First come, first serve. Hook yourself up. It's me, Matty T, and I'm out. Peace.